All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Good. Check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely subscribe to me here on YouTube. So uh, today we're back in Tableau. So this uh, dashboard may look familiar to you. If you followed my last video, you learned how to make rounded bar charts. Uh, you learned how to filter the uh, top in here. So if I if I move this down, move the numbers down, it affects the number of marks in the visualization where I'm showing uh, NBA player total assists. And if I, you know, if I take it down to one, I just have my Russell Westbrook leading the pack. And I take it up to 20, I get my default view. So what's new for this week? We're revisiting this dashboard. New for this week, this neat little tip that I picked up from the uh, Viz Jockey blog. And I'll post a link uh, to the article where I picked it up. I thought it was pretty neat. Um, you can sort, uh, you can do a custom sort here. So if I say player name A to Z, right, we start with Ben Simmons, alphabetical sort, all the way down to Spencer uh, Dinwiddie. Fun fact on Spencer Dinwiddie, he turned down uh, Harvard to go to University of uh, Colorado and, uh, you know, battled his way back from a, uh, from a devastating injury in college. So I know you don't come here for basketball tidbits, but, uh, you know, that's for free. If I do player name Z to A, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie comes to the top all the way uh, down to uh, Ben Simmons. Reverse alphabetical sort. I can sort by assists, ascending, and then assists, uh, descending. Get that default view back. So how do we go about creating something like this? So again, check out last week's video. And this is what it looked like uh, from last week. Check out last week's video to get to this point, right? So once you're here, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to create a parameter named sort by, right? And I already have the parameter created. Obviously, you would just go here and you would say create parameter. I already have it created. So let's just take a look at it. Um, we're going to name it sort by. Uh, the current values, or you're gonna you're gonna select a list of allowable values, and then the values are gonna be one, two, three, and four, and then you can display them. Put your uh, your dimension here. I, I put player name A to Z, player name Z to A, and then my measure. Uh, I have assist with ascending in parentheses and assist with descending in parentheses. So put something like that, depending upon what uh, dimension and measure you want to use into your dashboard. We're going to say OK. And now we're going to create a calculated field. So uh, you would go here, create calculated field. And the name of our calculated field, I call it sort value. Let's take a look at it. So uh, very simple uh, calculated field here. If you look at, you know, it's a case statement. So it's going to evaluate the parameter right it's going to evaluate sort by when sort by is one then we're going to have we're going to use the rank unique function uh, to look at the to sort the minimum player name ascending right uh, same deal for number two just we put descending in there for a reverse sort when it's three we're going to rank unique the sum of assists ascending and when it's four, we're going to rank unique the sum of assists descending. So if you go in here, just to uh, just to show you a little bit what rank unique, right? Rank unique returns the unique rank for the current row in the partition. Identical values are assigned different ranks. So in case we have ties, I want every value, I want every dimension to get a unique rank. So that's why we're using the rank unique function. So hopefully that's that's pretty straightforward, right? So now that we have uh, we have our parameter and we have our calculated field, right? We're going to place the sort value on rows. So if I go down here to sort value, let's place it on rows. And I want to make this discrete. And we're going to move it here to the front, right? So I've got that unique rank. Yeah, even if there were ties. So there's a tie here. Lou Williams, Dennis Schroeder, uh, former Hawk, uh, 16 and 17, even though they have the same number of assists on the season. So that's what rank unique does, right? So we have that. You see we have our, our grid lines here. Um, let's show the parameter control here for sort by. Uh, show parameter control. So that shows up 
And if I select player name AZ, great, the sort works. It's, it's that simple. So now we're just, uh, we are just formatting. So what I'll do is I'll go in here, I'll uncheck show header, and then we'll go to format. Let's go to the format borders. And for columns, I don't want a column divider. And for rows, I don't want a row divider. So we get rid of our, our dividers there. We get that nice and clean look. And then all I did was go into the colors for this week to differentiate uh, is make it green. So there you go. You've got that custom sort. Uh, with your your filter by top end with your rounded bar chart. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.